Hello and welcome back to our Christmas series here on A Decorative Home. Our Christmas series, we're sharing DIY projects like today's video, as well as decorating ideas and tips. Today, I'm going to design two Christmas planners that's going to go out on the front porch. I pulled down all my fall decorations, so I'm ready to start transforming it over to Christmas. So come along with me and let's go create two Christmas planners together. We have pots, birdhouse picks that I picked up at the at home store, birch branches in four different sizes, faux antlers, pine picks with pine cones, and then two more types of pine picks. I've been looking for taller planters to go by the front door and I was able to find what I was looking for on Amazon. These are taller, the rounder, and the best thing is they have inserts, making planting easier. So it is filled with dirt right now to make putting the picks in easier. This part is going to be up against the house, so I'm going to start my design from the back and move forward. I think what I want to do is start by adding a piece of the birch branch. And I think I'm going to go ahead and um, put it toward the back. I'm just kind of making a little bit of a hole going back and forth with the branch just to get it down as far as I want it. And then I think I'll push that dirt back in there to make it stay. But I think I want to do another piece too, so I'm going to bring in another longer one and then just kind of put it down next to it. And then I think I'm going to come in with a pine pick and put it down in the middle of those. Next, I'm going to come in with the pine picks that have the pine cones on them and put them in right in front of the birch. Yeah, that's looking nice and full. Now I'm gonna come in with another pine and just kind of fluffing these up a little bit and put it down in front of that one a little bit. And then the same type as this one, I'm going to go ahead and come in with another one and go in at the front there. Now the middle is kind of missing something so I'm going to go ahead and bring in another one of the birch branches and then just push it down in the middle of these. Now I think I'm going to go ahead and do one more pine pick, fluff this one up a little, and then we're going to put it in the front here. And push that one down just a little bit more. And then I'm going to bring in one more pine or uh, birch. I'm just going to go ahead and move this around a little bit. Now I think what I want to do is bring in the um, birdhouse picks and I think this is going to be too tall to go in. Yeah, that I bottom out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and bend that pick a little bit and then I can go ahead and push that down into the dirt. Now that the bird house picks are in, I'm going to go ahead and come in with a couple of the antlers and I'm just going to put those down in front here. And then I have a couple of the pods that I'm going to go ahead and put in. Thank you. 
I stepped back and took a look at it and I still feel like it's missing a little something and I think that something is ribbon. So I have one and a half inch ribbon that is wire edged. I don't want a bow. So what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and make little loops and insert that in there. I'm just going to drop my spool of ribbon down to the floor and then kind of eyeball about 13 inches and cut it with my scissors. I want to make sure that I don't cut off the stem of the tree though, so I'm going to go in between the trees. Just going to hook my ribbon over here. Then I'm going to come in with my floral wire and my wire cutters and cut off a little piece. Make a loop and then pinch and gather that together. Wrap the floral wire around. leaving myself a stem. So I created five of these loops and I'm just gonna go ahead and place them throughout. I may not use them all, but I wanted to have extra just in case I wanted all five. So I'm just kind of opening up that bow, opening up that loop a little bit and straighten out my floral wire. I'm gonna start in the back. over to this side and balance it a little bit. They might not necessarily be going into the dirt, but they are going into the planter and they are creating a little softness to this. Put that one away down in front. 